Good morning. Johnny Sunshine, back in the saddle, Yeah, this fucking economy's really fucking going to hell on the Joe Biden. Yeah. There's a new building being built on every corner in Sarasota. Give me a fucking break. Guys, the sky is not green and the grass is not blue. Dig it? Don't listen to what Donald Trump's telling you. This country's doing way better under Biden than Donald Trump. Probably should have saved that till the end of the video. Some of you probably you know, tuned me out already, but what are you going to do? It's an election year. It's gonna get even more heated as time goes on. Yep. Uh, I've gotta go check this job out. I Supposedly I've worked for these people. I think it's a house with the direction they're sending me in. I think I was here and changed out a pressure tank on the water heater or expansion tank. And uh, also, uh, they had the waters crossed in the kitchen for like seven years, and they were just hooked up backwards. All I had to do was flip the hoses, man. I don't know, maybe the homeowner put his own faucet in and fucked that up, but it was pretty easy. Uh, we'll see what it is on this. She said it's a leak under the kitchen sink. I think I've been under there, so we'll see. It's probably a garbage disposal, be my guess. So, I went to my first call, gated community, put the code in, no answer. Put the code in again, no answer. Put the code in again, no answer. Pull over to the side of the road at the gate, call the lady twice on the phone, no answer. Then a fucking little nerd shows up, a guy who lives there, and he starts telling me, you can't park there. It's like, dude, what do you think? I'm having a fucking picnic here? I'm trying to get in this fucking hellhole, this prison. Uh, and then he said, don't try to come in after me. When I gate opens, don't try to scoot in there behind me. And I was like, listen, buddy, I'm ready to turn the fuck around and leave. I got another call to go to, and I'm not playing games. I'm I'm on Mikey Pipe. She's got two fucking minutes and 33, 37 seconds left. My math's not good, but she's on short fucking time. If she don't call me, I'm down the fucking road. My time is fucking worth millions. Out and all of that, right? But that's one of these fresh, like these preformed sort of. Like it's just not sealing anymore. I think this the okay the the. All right. Well, let me look at it. Yeah. Let me just. Uh... Alright, the quickest thing for me to do is just put a new trap on here for well, you. Well, that's what I was hoping you would say because, like I said, I tried to put, I tried to take it apart and the, tr and the... Uh, yeah, let me just fix it for you real quick. Yeah, and then just a question. So this takes forever to heat up. Yeah. Um, it's because you have, how many baths? Three, uh, two baths in yeah. this house? Yeah. It's, it's because of the sizing of the water pipe under the slab. Uh, I'm videotaping. 
So, just so you know, I have a YouTube channel. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, uh, I remember coming to this house. The waters were crossed here. Yeah, correct. Uh, and we put a new pressure tank on the on the water heater or expansion tank. Yep. Um, there is a pump system that could be installed on this house yep. where I could put a thermostatic control valve under here. Yeah. And it'll recirc the hot water to this location. When it gets hot, the valve closes. It's got a timer on it. Obviously, you're not going to be using hot water uh when you sleep you know you can turn it off unfortunately it's about 650 dollars for that system it's a pump and a and a uh thermostatic control valve that goes under this that's the only way to do it okay we uh, would probably for that price live with right waiting for the, <laughs> if for we the hot water, the hot water. <laughs> yeah because we're only we're seasonal, yeah, seasonal. Right? So. well you can turn it off you don't have, obviously it's you're not going to be running that when you when you're not here yeah uh and there is a timer on it um where you can only run you know you can run it eight hours a day ten hours it's a 24 hour time clock so uh let me fix this issue here sure we'll get it done uh it's going to be a different style trap let me see uh, it's just going to be easier for me to put a different style trap in here, and they're, they're very easy to uh, to use. They're user friendly, so you'll be better off with that style. Okay. okay. Before I do this, is I want to look up here and just make sure that everything's dry. I like these blue towels because they really show water on them. It just changes color, and uh, it's definitely the trap that's leaking. So I'm just gonna change it. Molly, Molly hatchet.
got my tubular trap. Go ahead and glue this thing in here. What I like to do on these is always wipe the glue out of that spoon. So I just picked up a garbage disposal for this job and I got here and while I was sitting out there at the gate, a guy called me and he needs a garbage disposal. Funny how that works.
So are you guys heading back soon? Uh, yeah, we'll be, we're gonna head home on Saturday, but we're back in May, so. Oh, yeah. nice. How do you like that? Collapsible bucket. There you go. Yeah, I remember what happened here, because when I tried to go and, uh, like, replace the, the basket strainer, the P-trap there, uh. and uh, I think somebody had used plumber's putty, putty, and the putty, oh, pipe dope. and they shouldn't have done that type of a, um, on a ground joint. Yeah, and then so it, I tried to scrape the putty out and clean it out, but it never sealed the way it was supposed to yeah, seal. Yeah, and they have, have scratched something. All it takes is a little hairline scratch. Yeah, and yeah. it'll grip. Yeah, so it was leaking pretty good though. I gotta say. Yeah. Next time you have a leak, uh, just put a bowl under there. That's the best way to contain it. Yeah, nice we stuff. had a bowl. I don't know okay. why she took the bowl. I don't think she needed it or something. Okay. Yeah, I, I uh, and then of course the water was off. Well, we, we kind of go back and forth, so mm -hmm. the water's always off. Oh, you come here in like throughout the year. Yeah. Take little short VKs. That's it. That I hear you. That nasty work thing keeps getting in the way, right? Yep. I try not to let it get in my way too much, but it, um, I spent a lot of time working. All right, guys. So I just want to fill this up all the way and uh, give it the old. Let me fill this up all the way and then I'll see if I can get you a little more flow and uh, that'll decrease the time. So. going to try to up the, the uh, volume coming out of this water, uh, this faucet for this guy so that, you know, we can cut down on that time it takes to get hot water. Let's see what you got here. Oh, it's already gone, my friend. The thing in here that would have prevented the flow, you know, these, these faucets are designed to be within the uh, water conservation standards. Yep. So, it's but the only, the thing that I could have taken out, it's already, gone. It's already out. So, okay. there's no, no help for you. No it's terminal with this faucet. I throw in the tasting jokes. I don't care. It's pretty weak, though, isn't it? Make sure these valves are open all the way. Water turned valves. You need to open or close. I can't remember how we paid you last time. You can either do Zell or cash or check. Okay.
I think last time we probably went by the cash machine yep. there. I remember. I can the bank's right up the top of the street, isn't it? Yeah, or actually the better one for me is just over here. There's a um, CVS or something on the... On the corner, man? Yeah, like where the Detweiler's Plaza is there in Ace Hardware. Yeah. Just uh, in the corner of uh, Swift and, yep, and Stickney right Point. So I'll probably go there if you don't mind. Not at all. Save myself a few bucks. Um, and then, uh, can I get you to check as well the, the hot water tank, you know, that thing you put up at the top? I, yeah. I clanged on it. It sounds still like there's room in there, so, but I, I remember you telling me that I got to check that. Yeah, I mean, I only did that a year ago, right? Yeah, it should be. Fun. Last year. Hey, I, I got to say, man, what's up with this bedroom? It That's wasn't like a bedroom. It, it was a laundry room. Wow. I was gonna say that's tight, man. Yeah, that's where you send the in-laws. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Well, you make sure they don't come they back. Give us an extra room, but like they put they put the laundry out here, which yeah. kind of makes sense. I'd yeah, yeah. In the garage. Right? Absolutely, man. I agree. But yeah, so, it's pretty tight. But you figure when grandkids arrive, they're not going to be too fussy about having a small room. So. That's good, my friend. Did you hear that? Listen. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. Yeah, empty. Okay. All right. That's what I thought. Yeah, you're good. Good. Let me grab my bag right. and uh, we'll I'll head on out. Keys. All right. Oh, sorry about that. I should have probably gone about that. That's all right. That's on my way. I thought you may have had a garbage disposal problem and I picked up a garbage disposal on the way here. Oh, okay. Uh, and then. While I was here, waiting out at the gate, uh, a guy called me and he needs a garbage disposal, so <laughs> things work out. Things man. work out. Yes, when they live, do. When you live your life right, things work That's out. That's right. Absolutely, my friend. Good things happen to good people. You're from Canada, huh? Yes, sir. What do you guys think about our politics here? They're just about as messed up as ours, I guess. <laughs> the whole world. The whole world is like that, right? I guess, yeah. It's pretty much of a mess. Yeah, well. We've made a mess of this beautiful thing called Earth. Yeah, that's. Uh, it's always time to turn back in my eyes, but. not just the stuff here though it's the stuff in the countries where you know we can't really see what's going on yeah the electric waste, electronic waste and stuff that we ship out to china and india and all these other places yep um there's a lot of scoundrels in the in the world there are and there are. Uh, that's the best sure. thing you can do is live life by your own values and hope that everybody <laughs> Hope that you get through unscathed. <laughs> You're right though, live by your own values. That's good advice. Yep, I try to do that. All right, brother, I'll meet you up there. Yeah, you know where I'm talking about, right? Where the Ace Hardware and Detweilers and all that. Yep, is. There's you're a... gonna go to the Walgreens on the corner? Yeah, the pharmacy on the corner. Yeah. Let me, I gotta put up my tailgate here. You should have those traps. I don't use them often. How you doing, my friend? I'm doing great. I met you last year when I was here. You remember me? I gave you a business card. Yes, sir. You need me today while I'm here? All right, good.
back to a broken switch again. Son of a gun. Because it doesn't matter who you talk to or where they're from everybody just has a cynical terrible uh, outlook on life man it's bad for us man I mean it's just not fucking healthy uh, and it's worldwide and we need to turn off these people who are just you know Preaching that shit, man. Terrible. These guys from Canada, and they, they have the same fucking attitude. Oh, it's fucked up everywhere. Ah. It's a nice little community. I worked for this guy last year. Uh, and it's funny because I thought of them the other day and then they call me. It's almost like ESP, man. Extra Special Plumber. Or I'm sure some of you fucking haters out there can come up with something pretty creative for ESP. 